This is bananas. What I'm about to show you completely blew my mind. We just want to see how it will compare against 4,000 competitors. It's just like you don't need to think, research, code, just do what the machine tells you. But can it do better? Much better? Let's find out. I've decided to compare how ChatGPT, completely on its own, would execute a full data science pipeline on one Kaggle competition. And the most important part, how would it score compared to thousands of contestants on the leaderboard? I've given it two attempts. The first one was me asking it to do everything on its own and just blindly executing the code it threw at me. And the second one was me guiding it through each step, asking it to change and refine its responses and provide code for more complex techniques. Check this out. All I had to do is provide precise instructions. I pointed it to a specific competition and it figured out what is the problem that we need to solve, what is the target variable, and what are the names of the actual features. For context, in this competition we need to predict house prices based on 80 real estate characteristics. As you can see, it is structuring its reply to my question with complete code for each step. Here I am just copying each code block and executing it without question. As you can see, not all the missing values are imputed, so I'm asking it to update the provided code, and here it is. Okay, we're done with simple data pre-processing, now on to the feature engineering step, and at this point, it froze. I had to reload the page eventually. It would seem that ChatGPT would lose all the context of the previous conversation, and it did. But when I explained what we had been doing at the previous step and asked it to pick up where we had left off, it provided just the perfect response. At the feature engineering step, it created three simple features, but notice how it comprehended the column's names and made a logical conclusion how the area of the house would be a good characteristic of a house price, to which I agree. And to compute this area, it would need to add the areas of basement, first floor and second floor. So it actually derived feature meanings based on their names. This is what a live data analyst would do after having studied all the columns names and maybe a data dictionary. So I proceeded to copy paste and execute the code it provided. Now our data is processed, some features are created. Let's see how I would choose the best model for the task. It's proposing to compare linear regression, decision tree and random forest. Not a bad combination of models to baseline. I thought that some grading boosting would complete the picture. Run the code and we see that LightGBM has scored with the lowest error. Now let's see if ChatGPT can tune this model. Right away it provided a nice starter grid with 8 parameters to iterate over. Notice how I ask it to provide code for every single operation that I need to execute. Of course not all this code is optimized, but at the end we just want to see how it will compare against 4000 competitors and teams in this competition. It tuned the model, retrained it on the whole data set, predicted on test and even created a submission file. It even knows that for this competition a submission file should include an ID column and a sale price column. It's just like you don't need to think, read or research or even code, just do what the machine tells you. Now let's upload our submission to Kaggle and check the results. I can see right away that this is a good score. Our position on the leaderboard is 1235 out of 4017. That is the top 30% and it is better than 2,732 data scientists. This is good. But can it be better? Much better? Let's find out. Same competition, same data, but only now I'm asking it to generate the code the way I want it. On its own, it imputed missing values by mean or mode. This could have been done better. I had to precisely describe with text how this operation should be executed. But it did not do a great job here, so I had to point it to a specific library that can handle it. With that out of the way, we want to use a more powerful encoding for the categorical columns. Let's try multiple encoding options and then select the best ones. So to one hot encoding, we're gonna add frequency encoding, mean target encoding and factorization. Now our train and test data contain 393 features each. Let's add some more with feature engineering and then we'll apply feature selection. For this step, we'll select the 10 most important features based on machine learning model feature importance and recursively create pairwise interactions based on four different operators, add, subtract, multiply and divide. This has expanded our data set to 573 columns, comparing to original 80. Now I had to correct the code for this step quite a few times because it kept throwing errors, but even without a lot of experience, you can manage just by reading the error stack trace. Okay. Okay, time for feature selection. I'm just going to kindly ask ChatGPT to provide the code for recursive feature elimination with cross-validation based on LightGBM model. And yes, this will take some time to execute. We've eliminated 102 useless features and I forgot about the outliers, but we can still do this and fix the skewed data distributions. Final step, we'll ask ChatGPT to provide the code 
for a blending ensemble with five different tuned models. Are you all eager to see the results? This prediction has brought us up the leaderboard to 325th place out of 4017. That is top 8% and this is bananas. This is a very big achievement especially because it was executed in the span of 30 minutes. Now think about it, ChatGPT has just outperformed 92% of Kaglers on this competition. Yes, I had to interfere, fix a few bugs here and there, but I did not have to write a single line of code. So we still have two questions to answer. Can one really win a data science competition with ChatGPT? And uh, after watching this video, should anyone even consider a career in data science? Well, the answer to the first question is undefined, you can get a really high score, as you have just witnessed, and maybe get an additional edge by introducing ChatGPT's predictions to complement your current result. But the answer to the second question, in my mind, is completely clear. A big fat yes. Such a rapid success of ChatGPT has proven the world that machine learning is the real deal. At this point, all the big tech companies that have been working on AI will double down and all the rest will follow because they understand that they will just get left behind if they don't adopt machine learning into their processes or don't create great products like this one based on AI. And to reach these goals, you need talented engineers. I expect the demand for data scientists to grow far beyond than what it is today. From my point of view, we're just getting started. This leads to one possible conclusion, and it is right here.